Hey, welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Savannah and today we're gonna do a full body flow. We'll start seated on your mat, so go ahead and tuck the toes if your ankles feel a little funky when the tops of your feet come to the mat. We don't have a lot of flexibility naturally in that area of our body, so sometimes it's a little bit easier to start lifted. It also helps the spine sit up taller. We'll close our eyes and just start being mindful about how we bring our inhales in through our nose and how we bring them out. Notice if your inhales are rushed or short. See if you can guide them to be a little bit smoother as they come and loop around to your exhale. We'll reach our arms overhead. As you exhale, press the right hand down, reach the left arm over to the right. You can take the gaze down to the mat. We'll pause here for a moment. And with an inhalation, we'll reach up through center. Exhale to reach down through the left hand and over with the right arm. Pausing at the end of your exhale. Taking a breath up and in, and then down and out. Once more, inhale to lift. Exhale to reach down and over with the right arm. Filling the body up, reaching the arms up. Full breath in, and as you exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Find a tabletop pose where your wrists are living right underneath your shoulders and your knees are stationed right underneath your hips. Spread the fingertips out wide and start to sink low in your shoulders here. Draw the belly in and feel a belt around your lower back and your belly as you draw it up and in. Let the elbows bend, and as you inhale, slowly reach the gaze up. You might tilt your tailbone a bit. As you exhale, press the mat away from you, straightening the arms, drawing the belly up and in, feeling the back lift beyond the shoulder blades here. You might pause at the end of your exhale. And then inhale to bend the elbows, scoop the heart forward, gaze up. As you exhale, press the mat away from you. Continuing with your own breath, let the eyes close and let any organic urges in the body come through and express themselves. So if your hips want to wiggle to the side, if your hips want to move in circles, if your head wants to drop a bit more, if you want to stay in cat for one breath or want to stay in cow for one breath, just let that happen. Let your breath come in and explore your body as if it's a playground and just move around as it wishes. Come all the way onto our palms and step the knees back a bit. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Keep the knees slightly bent as you shift the hips up and back. Think about scooping the tailbone up towards the ceiling and then drawing that soft bend in your elbows again. Spread the fingertips out wide and we'll start to pedal out our legs, rooting down through the left heel and then releasing the heel from the mat and rooting down through the right heel. Your heels don't have to touch the mat. It's more of just an energetic push down through the heel to the mat than it is an actual touch. With an inhale, reach the gaze forward. As you exhale, slowly step the right foot forward. It doesn't really matter where the right foot lands. You can always heel toe that foot forward. We'll seal the left heel down. And as you inhale, reach the arms up and wide. As you exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Take a look at your stance, and if you want to widen it a bit, go ahead and walk that right foot forward. Make sure that left foot is turned out about 45 degrees, and check in with your back knee. If you feel any torque or twist on it, maybe you choose to widen your stance east to west. We'll start with the front knee straight. As you inhale, bend the right knee, reach the left arm up. 
Exhale, draw the belly in. Both hands will come to touch at your heart center. Inhaling to enter the pose. Left hand sweeps up. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Let that lead the hips back. Hands to heart. Twice more. Inhaling, open left side. Exhaling back. Finding the length of your own breath. And then moving with that. Soft bend in the front knee. We'll go ahead and step forward into a high chair here. Go ahead and keep the chest lifted. And then slowly step the right foot back. The right heel will seal down. The left foot can come out a bit to the left edge of the mat to bring some space between the hips. We'll start with the front leg straight. As you inhale, reach the right arm up. Begin to bend the left knee. Exhale to lead back with the hips, belly drawing in. Inhaling, opening to the right side. Exhaling to lead the hips back with the core. Twice more on your own breath. Inhale. And exhale to chair. Nice, drop the hips low. Bring the hands to the mat and slowly lift our hips up. Make sure your belly and your thighs stay in contact. You'll only lift the hips up as high as you can without them shifting away from each other. This allows the hips to move in conjunction with the lower back so that your hamstrings aren't pulling your hips down, causing you to round and separate your sacrum from your hips. And let the weight of the head drop down long. We'll start to walk both hands over to the right side of the mat. The side of the body will lengthen and we'll take a breath in. Exhale to walk the hands back to center. The right arm will reach over to the left corner of the mat. Head will drop down for a breath in. And as you exhale, slowly walk the right hand back. Let's step the left leg to the back of the mat. The heel will seal down. And as you inhale, you'll come up to a warrior two-ish. And then you'll bring your right arm down on your right elbow. Setting up for side angle. We really wanna keep the side of our body long and extending forward. So as you reach that top, top arm up, think of it growing as if it was a measuring stick, lengthening that side of your body. Feeling that heel root down and this armpit kind of tunnel down or round down so that this side of your body can stay long. One more breath in. As you exhale, press through that front foot. Come up to a power pose. So both feet will come and face the left side of your mat. The toes can point outward. And the arms will reach out wide. Feel the shoulder blades draw together. Maybe the chin lifts a bit. As you take a breath in, feel the chest expand. As you exhale, draw both hands together. We can start to lean to the left here, keeping the gaze lifted. Inhale, back through center. As you exhale, bend to the right, drop the gaze down. We'll inhale up high, arms will separate. As you exhale, bend the knees, draw the shoulder blades together. Palms will come out wide here for goddess pose. Notice if your back is arching or kind of leaning forward. See if you can cinch the line of your torso. Draw the belly in. Find some core awareness here and start to heat your body up with your breath in and out of your nose. Last breath here. Slowly bring the hands to heart. The right foot will face the top of the mat. The left foot will come in so that it's pointing out just about 45 degrees. We'll bring the back hand down on our back thigh and with an inhale, reach the right arm up and back, reverse warrior. Finding a long side body here and then taking a breath in to expand the right side of your body a bit more. Nice, 
coming and placing the hands back around the right foot. We'll step the right foot back and shift the hips up for a soft downward facing dog. You can pedal the legs out, spread the fingertips out wide. With an inhale, look forward. As you exhale, walk the feet forward. Take a fold here, and this time we'll bring opposite hands to opposite elbows. Still bringing our lower belly to remain in contact with our upper thighs. I like to think of my hips as the base of a waterfall and the spine just falling down. With every out breath, it releases a bit more. Our hands will come down to the mat. And we'll step the right leg back. The heel will seal down. Feel free to separate the feet out if you need to. Inhaling up to set up for side angle. The left elbow will come down onto the left knee and we'll inhale the right arm up and over our ear. Palm will come to face down. If you feel any strain on your neck at all, you can face the gaze down completely. Checking in with the breath. And then with an inhale, pressing through that front foot, coming up to our power pose, both feet facing the right side of the mat. Inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale to the right. Trying to keep the hips neutral here. Inhale through the center. Exhale to the left. Inhaling up. If you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, find a goddess pose here. Think open heart, but strong belly, cinching that line in front of your torso. And building some heat in the belly, maybe the top of the thighs. We'll slowly straighten through both legs, pivoting the feet to the top of the mat. The back heel will turn out. Front knee will bend. Right hand behind the right thigh. Inhale the left arm up and back. Taking a breath in to expand the front of your body. And then exhale to cartwheel the hands down. Go ahead and step the feet to the back of the mat. And pedal the legs out. Make sure the elbows are soft. We'll inhale the right leg up high. Keep the toes pointing down. And as you exhale, draw the belly up towards your spine so that you can make space for the right foot to step down. It doesn't have to get very far. We can heel toe that foot forward. And then when you're ready, step the left knee down to the mat. You can step the left foot back before you do so. Inhale the arms up. The right hand will hook around the left wrist. As you exhale, draw the belly in and start to lean towards the right. And the gaze can drop down on the mat or it can stay reaching towards the wrists for a little balance challenge. Inhale back up through center. As you exhale, bring both hands around the right foot. Lift the back knee. Step the right foot to downward facing dog. Shake the legs out. We'll take a breath in and a breath out to step the left foot forward. Drawing that belly up towards the spine to make space for the thigh to move underneath. Right knee will come down. As you inhale, arms reach up. Left hand wraps around the right wrist and we'll start to reach over to the left. The gaze can drop down, or it can stay reaching up towards the wrists. Inhale up through center. So you exhale, bring the hands around the foot. Shift the hips back a bit, just enough to bring the left knee underneath your hips. We'll come back to a tabletop pose, spreading the fingertips out wide. Take a breath in. As you exhale, gently round the lower back. Draw the belly in as the hips shift back just a bit. Inhale forward. 
Exhale to draw the belly in and shift the hips a bit further. Loosening up the lower back, we'll inhale it to tabletop. And then exhale it all the way back to child's pose now. Walk the hands forward. You can even let the hands come on top of each other if you'd like. And put the forehead on them. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. We're always looking for feedback from the body instead of straight sensation. We can get a lot of information when we search for feedback. I'm searching for sensation and following sensation can lead us in possible injuries. When we feel something that we like, we might push it too far. Instead, ask your body what it's feeling and respond in accordance to that. Slowly rising up to a tabletop. Go ahead and find the wrists underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, press the mat away from you and feel the back lift up beyond the shoulder blades. And you can see here in the video that it's almost like I'm rounding my back. My lower back is still neutral, just pressing the mat away from me. As I exhale, my shoulder blades will come together. The arms will still be straight, but just my chest will drop. And we'll do this together on our breath. As you inhale, press the mat away from you. Feel the back lift up and beyond the shoulder blades. Exhale, arms stay straight, just the heart sinks. Maybe the shoulder blades can come to touch. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Nice, we'll come up to a neutral position somewhere in between those. And then the right hand will come across us diagonally as if it was reaching for the top left corner of the mat. Take a small bend in the left elbow and just sit back with the hips far enough until you feel some length on the right side of your body. You can breathe in to expand a little bit more. Big breaths in, slow breaths out. Slowly come back up to center, wrists underneath the shoulders. The left hand will come up and across us. And slowly start to sit the hips back. The right elbow might bend a bit and the gaze will drop down. Big breath in. And slowly coming back up. Now that we've lengthened the side of our body, we'll take a little twist to relieve any tension living in between the shoulder blades. With an inhale, reach the right arm up. And as you exhale, thread it underneath the left arm. You might have to bend the left arm. You have two options here. You can let the weight of the head drop completely to the mat, or you can stay pressing through that left hand so that it feels like your shoulder is kind of just dropping in a hole without any squish or tension around the neck. So whatever you prefer. And then you have the choice of whether you want to walk the left hand up to the top of the mat or take it behind your lower back. Find what would work best for you. And go ahead and commit five breaths to that shape. And letting your breath in, fill the space in between your shoulder blades, finding any areas of tension. And then as you breathe out, let the breath out, kind of take those areas of stress or tension out along with it. Beautiful. Go ahead and bring the left hand back in front of you. And we'll press up to a tabletop. Plant the right hand down. With an inhale, the left arm will sweep up. And with an out breath, it'll sweep underneath. Option to drop the weight of the head down completely, or if you wanna stay pressing down through that right hand, you can bring some space to live between 
the shoulder and the ground. Finding the rhythm of the breath right away. It's funny how fast our mind can jump off the mat. With an inhale, pressing back up. And as you exhale, resituating your hands. If your knees are feeling a little tight, you can walk them out. We'll go ahead and extend the legs behind us and lower our belly onto the mat. Keeping our hands alongside our rib cage, our elbows are hugging in, so much so that maybe our shoulder blades are coming together as well. Feel the pressure points of your hips and see if you can feel balanced between the hips. The toes will be pointing away from you and the legs are energized. Maybe the knees are even lifting off the mat as a result of the legs being energized. With an inhale, just slowly lift and lengthen the gaze forward. Don't worry about how high you lift or how much you arch. And slowly lower down. Let the elbows stay squeezing together. The forehead will just drop down to the mat. Bring both hands behind the lower back, clasping the fingertips. As you inhale, draw the palms away from you. Lift the chest up. Slowly releasing down. And pressing through the hands, the right arm will come across the body and we'll turn onto our right hip. The left hand will come in front of you for balance and the right hand will find its area of comfort by itself. So maybe it pivots in, maybe it pivots out, whatever helps you feel balanced and centered the most. The top leg will step over and point to the back of the mat. And you can set up as much space in between the heel and the hip as it feels natural to you. Go ahead and press the left hand into the mat. The right hand is firmly pressing in. And then slowly begin to straighten the arms. You'll come up to a stretch on the right side of your body. So go slowly so that you can gauge the stretch as much as you want it. And then as we find our breath, we'll try to move the breath into our lower ribs to expand in that area. If there's any tightness, go ahead and breathe into it. As you exhale, draw the belly in. Think of that tightness just sewing itself up and out of you. Every exhale pulls out anything that is no longer serving you or is stuck. Go ahead and let that be a release with every out breath. You can walk the right hand underneath our shoulder a bit. And with an inhale, reach the left arm up and overhead. The hips will lift up and pressure will be pressed through the knife edge of the back foot and the front foot. The front foot can pivot out towards the outside of the mat. And go ahead and feel length from the hips to the armpits. We'll slowly lower down. Knees will bend as you do so. Let's come onto our belly and switch on to the other side. The left arm will come across to you, and the right foot will step over the left. Toes will be pointing the back to the back of the mat. With the right hand pressing in front of your ribs, slowly straighten the arms. Checking in with this side, and then breathing into the lower ribs, helping the movement of the breath. The breath alone gives our organs and our muscles a massage in every moment. So if we can just expand upon that natural expression. And we'll do a lot for our bodies on top of what our bodies are already doing for us. The left hand will come underneath the left shoulder and the right toes will pivot out to face the outside of the mat. As you inhale, press through the feet, the right arm will come up and over Go ahead and reach to the top of the mat. Find length along the entire side body. Taking a full breath in. And as you exhale, slowly coming down. We'll step the right leg over our leg and out to the back of our mat to set up for a forward fold. 
Bring the knees bent, so much so that your belly can come to your upper thighs. This allows the stretch to not only come into the back of your legs, but the back of your body as well. We can wiggle our ribs up towards our knees and just lay along our legs. Come down in between the knees, maybe the thighs. Notice the speed of your breath and see if you can start to slow it down a bit. See if you can stay present with your next five to six breaths. Slowly walking the hands back towards the hips. Close the eyes or come to a soft gaze. We'll come to a seated position. In yoga, we call this seated position Sukhasana. And Sukha stands for with ease. So go ahead and find a seated position that brings ease into your body. And then just allow yourself to feel or notice. Maybe noticing any difference now in your body than before when you started. And then just sitting with that observation in gratitude for your body. thanking your body for being able to practice yoga. If you can breathe, you can do yoga. So it's really nice that our body brings us into a practice that's so adaptable. Gently bring the hands to heart center. Press the thumbs into your chest. Know that no matter the way and no matter the obstacle, the light and love within me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your mat time with me. I've loved being able to practice with so many of you. It's really an honor for me. And it's super humbling for me too to be able to practice with you all. So I want to stay connected and I want to know how these practices are working for you since I'm not there with you. So let me know how things are going for you and then let me know what you'd like to do more of. See you next time. In the inside of our right thigh, you can even scooch and you can widen the ankle even if you just want to bring the left heel into the left hip flexor, that works as well. From here, we're gonna plant our left hand behind our left hip. Maybe it's behind the left thigh, right? It's different for everyone. As you inhale, reach up through the right fingertips. And as you exhale, bend. To